Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are from me, Bishop Bishop. As you can tell, I'm all sweaty and sticky. Well, maybe you can't tell that I'm sticky, but I am sticky. I'm sweaty, my hair's bedraggled. I just went for a glorious walk slash run around my neighborhood. And now I'm sitting out in my backyard because it is absolutely beautiful. A little warm, but there's a breeze. Fall is slowly sliding into Florida. It's not the same as up north. It's slower and more subtle, and we'll still have hot days, and it'll probably be up to 90 this afternoon, but there are changes. And today, what I'd like to do is just encourage you to walk in your neighborhood, to explore your space, to regularly go out in your neighborhood. Excuse me, I gotta wipe my nose. It's all drippy from the exercise. So back to my topic. I'd like you to go out in your neighborhood regularly, at least once a week. Take a walk or a run or a bike ride. You can take a drive, but it's better if your body is more engaged with the weather, with the elements. Take a walk and notice how things shift. One of the great things about being embodied is that small shifts, large shifts in the weather, in our neighborhood environments, are felt. They're not just seen, they're felt in our bodies. And it's well worth your time to take a 15 or 20 minute walk or bike ride, to spend some time getting to know the place where you live. I love walking my neighborhood, running in my neighborhood, biking in my neighborhood. It gives me an intense joy. Now I can have bad days and sometimes just be grumpy and I am a bit of a belligerent pedestrian and I tend to make cars stop at four-way stops even though they don't want to. And that's not going to change anytime soon. But even on days when I'm irritated and angry and slightly aggressive with motorists, the walk will reward me. So, that's all I really have to tell you today. Go walk your neighborhood. Notice the sounds and the sights. Notice the regular walkers and bikers. Pay attention to the shifts in weather. It's a small pleasure, but in this world of wonder and woe, we need to cultivate small, regular pleasures like walk in the neighborhood. Well, that's all I got for you today. Take care and keep on keeping on.